Good day everyone, this is teacher Christine and welcome back to another session of English interview for stewardesses. Today, we'll go through more of our food and beverage terminology. And again, that's commonly used words regarding food and drinks in an airline. Are you ready? Let's start. So our first word for today is poor. Poor. To pour is to dispense liquid from a container. For example, we can say, can I pour you folks another glass of water? And again, that word is pour. Next word is prepare. Prepare. To prepare is to get food ready. And our example sentence is, the servers have to pre prepare the salads themselves. Again, that word is prepare. Next, we have rare. Rare. Rare means it's cooked meat that is pink inside or not really so cooked inside. For example, this steak is too rare for me to eat. Again, that word is rare. Next we have recipe. Recipe. A recipe is a list of ingredients and instructions for preparing a certain type of food. And our example sentence is our chef is so talented that he almost never bothers with a recipe. And again, that is recipe. Next up, we have roll up. Roll up. A roll up is a set of cutlery wrapped in a napkin. In our example sentence is, before we punch out, we have to prepare enough roll-ups for the night shift. Again, that word is roll-up. Next, we have rush. Rush. To rush means to prepare quickly for a certain reason. For example, we have, we always have a rush after church on Sundays. Again, that word is rush. Next, we have sauce. Sauce. A sauce is a liquid flavoring added to food. For example, we can ask, what kind of sauce would you like on your ice cream? Butterscotch or chocolate? And again, that is a sauce. Our next word is seasoning. Seasoning. Seasoning is dry flavoring added to food. In our example sentence is, he wants the chicken plain without any seasoning. Next, we have self-serve. Self-serve. 
Self-serve means that the customers bring their own food items to the table and do not pay for service. And our example sentence is, we have a buffet on, so it's self-serve for lunch. So again, that word is self-serve. And serve is our next word. Again, that is serve or serving. To serve means to look after a customer or bring items to a customer. And for our example sentence, is there someone in charge of serving out on the patio? So again, that word is serve. Next, we have set. Set. To set is to get a table ready with items such as cutlery and glassware. And our sample sentence is, I need you to clear and set a table, five, for a party of eight. Again, that word is set. And our last word for today is shade. Shade. Shade is a place outside that is not in the sun. Usually like if it's under a tree or under a roof. And for example, we can say, we'd like to sit on the patio if there is any shade. Again, that word is shade. So that's it for this session for today's food and beverage terminology. Tune in again next time. And again, this is teacher Christine for camglish.com. You have a good day now. Goodbye.